In this video we're going to talk about sample start and sample end. And for the example I loaded in this nice little pad sample. All right. So click on sample start and using the white cursor you see that you can go back and forth to sample start and sample end. And don't forget that you can always CV these also. So you can click on start. You can set any of these in the whole matrix to be CVing your sample start. And there's the attenuator for it. And same with end. One thing nice to know about the screen when you're in it, if you want to be moving back and forth with start and end quickly, you can use this to adjust. There's your start point, always in green. And there's your end point, always in red. But one little pro tip here is that when you're in this screen, instead of having to go up here and switch back and forth to be, to be editing this, you can just use these buttons. That'll change start and end. So that way you can just adjust these, go to start, adjust that, Go to end. See, you can work quickly back and forth. All right. So if I put this to gated instead of one shot, I don't want it to play all the way through while I'm trying to find my start point. So you can see that scrubbing through it with this, using the high res displays here. Actually, this is called normal display and this is called high res. And what the high res means is that you're actually zoomed into the actual single cycles of what you're editing. Kind of cool. So if this guy's moving too fast for you, you can kind of get in the general area and then you can click on this and dive right in to the actual cycles and get right on the top of a transient if you wanted to, right at the beginning of a transient. All right, so start is green and end is red. One thing to note is that sample start position is red each time the channel receives a trigger. So moving your start point either manually or with CV while a sample is playing will have no effect until the next time that the channel is triggered. Another thing to keep in mind is that changing your sample start point is non-destructive. If you want to permanently remove data from the beginning of your sample, we're going to talk about permanent truncation. So permanent truncation is where you're actually going to edit the sample physically. It's going to be a destructive edit. So the way which you do it is you set your start or end point, and then you hold down sample start, and you hold it for two seconds, and it's going to properly edit this thing permanently. And if you hold up your finger after two seconds, it stops the process. So I'm going to hold down sample start. It says truncating in two seconds. Boom. So that just edited there. That's real. So now if I go to, so that just starts there now. If I go to sample end and want to just make it this little guy right here, then I hold down sample end for two seconds truncating in two seconds. Boom. Now that is our sample. That is physically permanently changed. Um, pro tip shortcut is if you want to change both of them at the same time, like you want this to be your sample start and this to be your sample end, and you want to truncate those both at the same time, you just hold down sample start and sample end, truncating in two seconds. That is now our sample. Okay, next we're going to talk about loop start and loop end. See you there.